What's going on everyone? It's time for another horror comedy film review. Today we're going to go back way older. Today we're going to talk about Ghosts on the Loose, which was released July 30th, 1943. This is technically a comedy thriller, I'd say, with a, some minor horror elements. Uh, it stars Ava Gardner, Bella Lugosi, and the East Side Kids. And it was directed by William ben, uh, Budine. And he's done films like Billy the Kid vs. Dracula, um, Sparrows, Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter, and Voodoo Man. So, Ghost on the Loose is a story of these like, kids, and they um, uh, they basically get this new house, and they start moving in, and all this... Uh, crazy stuff starts happening because the mob is trying to scare them out because they still have loot and stuff in the house and they don't want them to find it so as uh they're trying to help out moving these people in um some crazy spooky antics ensue overall this film is pretty amusing this is one of eight east side kids films made in the 40s and uh, they're all like comedy related and uh yeah this definitely has a very abbott and costello um feel to it maybe with some little three some three stooges slapstick comedy which was popular back then nowadays it might be a little really cheesy and maybe even a little dull to some people and um i find uh that tends to be the case with these uh it's hit and miss with these nowadays um but back then that was the norm. There was the big ones and stuff. Besides rom-coms and stuff, there are some of the bigger money makers in this genre. Um, so, yeah. But this film is in black and white, so I know about like at least 50% of the people watching this probably won't even check it out because no one likes, apparently likes going back and talking about old films and stuff. So, um or go back and watch the old classics. But I always love doing that because you get, really get a sense of like what was going on in the time period and stuff. This is pretty much the dawn of World War II and uh, when this is coming out and stuff. And it stars the biggest horror star of that era, Bela Lugosi. He's the guy who originally played Dracula in the original Dracula, Universal Dracula film. And... Um, he stars. He's a, he became quite a horror icon. He's a Hungarian actor with a really thick accent, and uh, in this film, he plays the mob head mob boss who is trying to get the East Side kids out of the house. And uh, overall, I thought the film was amusing. It's uh, the, it goes from very quirky and tongue in cheek humor to very serious to quirky again, and it has a odd setup to that um the characters and stuff are pretty typical of this type of genre and uh yeah the comedy half of it is slapstick style comedy which you see in other old films like this which they didn't really bring anything new they kind of just mismatch some stuff and try to make the best that they could this is also a lower budget type of film from that this era so it's not like super extravagant like the abbott and costello ones where they have big stunts and stuff this one was kind of just done on a whim and uh yeah you can sort of tell that uh um, some of the acting is a little wooden. Some of the stunt work and stuff with the slapstick comedy is uh, you can sort of see like there's some mobsters where they just walk up to the door and all of a sudden they like you can tell they're expecting to get hit. And then um, as they do, they walk off like a zombie like all the others. And uh, you can sort of see they're just kind of waiting there and stuff, which you see that even in movies nowadays. But uh, it's very evident in this one. The acting is hit and miss uh obviously the big stars are good at their roles and uh bring a lot of life to the story uh some of the side ones even some of the east side kids were acting wasn't the greatest and um yeah it kind of uh makes it a little dull in some scenes overall i thought this film was amusing but it is a little dull in some points in it does drag for a little bit but it is one of the better east side kids movies of the 1940s so um but with that i'm gonna give ghosts on the loose a two and a half out of five it's all right it's not the greatest film but if you want to just 
to waste an hour and maybe see like what old school comedy is like, you should check it out because uh, it ha this has good elements, uh, the basic elements of cl all the classic type of films of that era. Now, if you want to check it out, you can check it out for free either on Tubi or it's also here on YouTube, which I'll link it down below so you can check it out for free down there and see what, and so you can see it for yourself. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram. That's where I always post clips of films I'm going to view in the future. All my stories are the film on hashtag, the subject of film on a hashtag, so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox down below, Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating after watching the films. And my Twitter's down below, reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay with this channel. Like this video. Share some more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any, if you have any films or films, any films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future. Comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Hope you find something weird, obscure, and all day. Probably not without checking it out together. And also, so you hear my opinions on pop the films. I promote classic films and reviews on other things as well. Don't forget to ring that bell because we got another horror comedy coming from the 1980s. Uh, my mom's a werewolf. I heard interesting things about it. Never seen it. So I'm going to check that out, and I'll be reviewing that in the next review. So make sure you tune in for that. Yeah, watch out for all those mobs just scaring us out of our new homes because, well, that happens. And uh, I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.